going on guys? Um, I'm just going to do a quick little demo here on how to use lychee waypoints. And uh, we're going to start out by putting a point of interest in the center of the field here at this little concession stand, shack, whatever it is, I'm not sure. Anyhow, so next thing you'd want to do is you want to set your waypoints. Um, first waypoint I'm going to put is by where I'm going to be flying from, which is that parking lot. Now you can see there to the left. I'm going to set the height to about 100 feet. So you go to altitude, 100 feet, whatever you want. Ninety nine, good enough. Um, the heading doesn't really matter because it's going to be all controlled anyway. So we'll get to that later. Then you put your next point, two, three, four, five. We're going to have go up to two seventy five for height. And next, we're going to have another waypoint set here. Another waypoint here. And we're going to have a point of interest at this house. We're going to change this point of interest to number two, the new one that we just put at the house. Same thing with waypoint number six. We're going to do that also. Put it at point of interest number two. I sound like a damn robot. <clears throat> So there you go, now you got uh, waypoint number 6 and waypoint number 7 focused on point of interest number 2. So it's got a basic mission here, so it's basically what it's going to do, it's going to fly around with the center point being the concession stand, shack, bathroom, whatever the hell that thing is. And then the drone will fly around, around the perimeter of it and keeping it in the center of the frame at all times, hopefully. So the next thing you'd want to do is go to Mission Settings, and then uh, your heading is going to be custom because we programmed the drone to kind of fly a Pacific programmed route, so it's custom. Um, finish action we have to return back to one. I use this because um, if you go to none, it will fly back to the last point and stay there at like say waypoint number seven. And a lot of times with using this app, I find, when you're setting missions, it flies beyond the range of your radio, and you lose contact with the drone, and if it's at the last waypoint, you're not going to be able to get it very easily. So what I do is set it to go back to the first waypoint, and then hover, I switch it to P mode, and land it manually. You could have it to return to home, auto land, I don't suggest auto landing because who knows how accurate Google Maps is. And reverse, which will go from 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and back to 1. Next thing you do is you have curve lines. So it will curve, as you'll see, the blue lines in between the waypoint. Um, it just makes a smoother transition from waypoint to waypoint. Instead of kind of being like a square, it makes it more of a circle. So let's just... Also, we got... Mm. Um, your cruising speed, I have it set for 11 miles per hour. You can set it to whatever you choose. Um, your maximum flight speed is the maximum that you can go by pushing forward on the control stick. Um, default curb size, I have it set to 60% to make it a little smoother around the edges. And then default gimbal pitch mode, I have it set to focused point of interest. So we'll follow that point of interest that it's been set to, point of interest 1 or pointing with just two, or whatever you choose. Um, rotation direction, it's managed, so it will follow that point of interest. Next thing you'd want to do is just download it. You would save mission, save as test video, okay. So what we're going to do, we'll take this out to the park, fly it. Hopefully it works out the way it should, I'm sure it will. 